Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74, and this is a 4K Blu ray review of How to Train Your Dragon from DreamWorks. This is available for $19.99 Steelbook Edition. I'll show you that at the end of the video at Best Buy, along with its sequel, which is also available for $22.99. And I think this is probably one of my favorite Blu ray or 4K Blu ray transfers so far, especially in terms of animation. Now animation, computer animation especially, has always been a staple or a showcase for Blu-ray, DVD, even as far back as VHS to have the best possible picture quality. It's only natural to think that 4K was going to take that to the next level and the picture was going to pop. That hasn't really been the case in all um, 4K Blu-rays. The Incredibles was a little disappointing, um, a little bit soft. So it's interesting that I've been apprehensive about double dipping in terms of animation. With this one, it's a few reasons is one, the price of the disc is so fair, especially for a steel book, and the picture quality is amazing. How to Train Your Dragon was an excellent Blu-ray, um, very clean. It was a challenging Blu-ray from a technical standpoint due to the aliasing you would see on the beards and the hair of the clothing and how detailed it was. It was not the sharpest for that reason, but it was a very detailed, colorful, very good black level, very, very bright, a lot of movement. It was excellent. The 4K Blu-ray improves upon that in every single aspect. It's cleaner, sharper. The colors are, I wouldn't say they're more vibrant because like a lot of HDR implementation, they're more natural, meaning the colors look more realistic than the Blu-ray. They're not as saturated, yet the flames, which there are a lot of, and the effects really pop in this edition. Now, initially the film can feel overly dark. Um, I don't notice or see any black crush, no matter which setting I use, whether it's an animation setting or turning up vivid or keep things natural. It just looks darker than the Blu-ray, which I know alarms quite a few people. But what that creates is that contrast with the HDR, with the flames, which look blurred out here because it's a still image. But that black level really seems alarming initially for the first few scenes. But then as soon as you see flames and the particle effects, you immediately start to smile. Scenes like this in the beginning are very, very dark. They don't lose any detail. Those of you with an OLED are going to love this. Um, it just has a very even, natural picture. And at first, I was a little alarmed. I was thinking, oh my god, is this going to be one of those really dark 4K Blu-rays? But no, as soon as the fire starts, prepare to be blinded. When you take that black level and then see scenes like this, you will cover your eyes. I mean, the contrast between the two really jumps off the screen and what animation is all about without losing any of the detail of his clothing, his hair, the wood behind him. Again, you can't see that on screen, but trust me when I tell you the detail is superior to the already impressive Blu-ray. Now, as an example of why the 4K Blu-ray is far darker, um, this isn't going to be a good show of it simply because the HDR isn't going to be present as you're viewing it. But as I click over the 1080p version, it's going to seem brighter and more detailed. However, the HDR um, 4K is more realistic, but I'll just show you the difference in brightness. These TVs are on the same settings. Check it out. That's the 1080p Blu-ray. And though it looks like there's more detail, everything is bright at the same time. Things are a little bit more washed out. But trust me when I tell you the 4K Blu-ray looks better, but is darker. Thus, when the flames pop, they really pop. So it's going to be a little darker, like a lot of HDR transfers, so just be mindful of that. In 4K, the image is much cleaner, much more refined. Again, these comparisons aren't going to do it any justice, but trust me when I tell you that it's a big difference, even though the standard Blu-ray does stand up very well. The 1080p image is slightly blurrier. Um, again, in animation, it does make a big difference if things are a little bit softer. Again, from this video, sorry, I can't show you more to really prove it to you. But to me, the 4K detail is much better. And we'll look at one more comparison. 
here looking at the 1080p version, his beard is a little bit more orange. Um, there's more aliasing in the hair on his uniform. His face is slightly washed out. On the 4K version, it's much cleaner. Again, hard to tell in this video because you can't see HDR, but I think this comparison does show a little bit better. Here's a slightly more natural image. The hair on his uniform is clear. Uh, the bones on his helmet, everything just looks better. It just pops better. The fine detail is just way more present. Um, again, I'm sorry I can't show you it in motion, but to me it's a huge upgrade. Even though the Blu-ray still stands well by its own, I still think the 4K Blu-ray is much better. You need to really see the film in motion to see what it's capable of. Um, that's where the real difference is, is not in still images, which just don't do it justice. The movie is excellent. The movement is amazing. And that's where the clarity really shines. The black level, the fine detail on clothing, the spectral highlights, the particle effects, the flames. Really, really great stuff. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, 4K Blu-ray in terms of animation, um, where I sat back and really said, wow. The fine detail in this film between the scales and the different dragons, the different colors of the fur on their costumes, the detail, the knitting, and again, the particle effects really set this one apart from a lot of other animated films. Just because of the organic skin and different colors really is where the HDR really shows itself other than the bright flames and particle effects. The difference in the skin tones, which seem to be all almost one color on the Blu-ray, are much more varied on the 4K Blu-ray. It also sounds excellent. It's not a booming soundtrack, but plenty of surround, and it just has that that all around the room feel, but it's not overpowering, but still fine. Um, so I'm very happy with it all around. Um, excellent movie, $19. You really can't beat that price. So for me, if you're a fan of this film or any DreamWorks film, it's a must buy. Um, even if you have the Blu-ray, I gladly have double dipped for this and I'm much happier with this transfer and I will watch this transfer instead of the Blu-ray. Um, again, contrast, bright HDR, more realistic image, fine detail, much cleaner, and the movement just seems to be better just because of the clarity of the image. And lastly, Steelbook fans, it is a very nice case. Nice artwork. Very detailed, if I can zoom in on that. But like a lot of steel books, you know, very, very basic in terms of just having the disc and just some of the artwork in the background. You get your digital copy and your Blu-ray. But very nice, very basic, um, very similar to other steel books such as Scarface, again, you know, some pictures inside and just some extras. Doesn't seem to be a ton of extras on this disc. Um, haven't really looked into that. Should have looked into that, but the image itself, the picture itself, phenomenal. Steelbook fans, I think this is a must. $19. Um, actually cheaper than the regular 4K Blu-ray, which is interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, for myself, I really like more of the Digibook where you have the actual books and you, know, you just have more to look at. But for those of you collectors that like, um, try to find digibooks of, of Blu-rays. I don't see any 4K digibooks, but Steelcase, excellent, looks good. The sequel's also available for $22, but I'm very, very happy with it. Sound quality is the same as the Blu-ray from what I can see. Um, and it is excellent. Beautiful transfer. Very, very happy with it. Strongly recommend it. If you don't have it, it's a must buy. If you're someone that doesn't mind double dipping, I think this one is worth it if you like the film. And that's all I can say. It was a long one. Sorry about that. But I love it. Thank you as always, guys. How to Train Your Dragon. 4K Blu-ray. Take care.